This here is a silverfish uh, sitting on a pen. It's an insect, of course it's not a fish, and it's uh, therefore supposed to have uh, six legs. Well, under the microscope I counted eight, so something seems to be really wrong with this insect here, or maybe not. Well, we'll find out. Hi, Microbe Hunter here. What in the world am I doing here? Well, I am looking for silverfish in my bathroom, in my shower, those places that have a lot of humidity. They like moisture. Not easy to find them because they like to come out at night. And I'm now looking for it at day, during day and can't find any. So far, I've not been very successful. Yeah, I have not been successful. I continue my search, but I was lucky. Well, I was lucky. Um, here under my table, I did find a silverfish finally after some searching. Now, silverfish uh, are wingless insects. Uh, this means that they they don't have wings. Now, that was redundant a little bit. Um, in any case, uh, they're insects. This means they should have six legs. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the, the silverfish um, that I caught here, I'm going to put it under the microscope. And uh, yeah, let's let's have a look at it. Carefully open it, carefully open it, and here is Mr. Silverfish trying to crawl out of the plastic container. Look at the reflection of the silverfish um, on the wall here. They like uh, to come out at night, then they do not like um, avoid, uh, they like to avoid light. Uh, and uh, I would suggest that if you look for silverfish, uh, yeah, turn down the light a little bit uh, and uh, try to hunt them um, in the evening. There are approximately a centimeter, one and a half centimeters in length. Um, well, and silverfish are also not known to transmit any diseases, so I wouldn't worry too much about them. But I do understand uh, that some people don't like them. Yeah, and here I have it uh, on my ball pen um, and uh, it's sitting there and resting. It doesn't move around, maybe it doesn't like the light, but it's also realizing that it cannot really escape anywhere. Um, so they, uh, they have a fish-like appearance uh, because they look silver and they are so flat. But of course, uh, they are insects. And uh, when they hatch, uh, they are white, but uh, later on in their life, they turn silverish grayish um, and they start to shine a little bit. You can also see that I'm not trying to turn the pen around a little bit so that I can see the head better. It's not so easy to do that. Yeah, it's, I'm now using the lowest uh, magnification um, and now this one here is zoomed a little bit more. You can see that there are two tiny eyes. Uh, they have uh, two tiny compound eyes. Uh, they look kind of cute here. Yeah, and uh, this is a view from the top again. And then there was something that kind of really confused me a little bit. Um, look carefully. How many legs does it have? Can you count, count the legs here? Yeah, there are. There's of course a pair of antennae. But then I see one, two, three, there are four pair of legs. I mean, spiders are supposed to have four pairs of legs. These are insects. They should, should only have three pairs, six. Now this really confused me. Well, well, actually it didn't confuse me. <laughs> That's a very common thing. Um, the front uh, pair of legs, of course, these are not really legs. These are called maxillary palpi. Um, these are extensions from the mouth part. Um, and they also, ask, uh, they also work uh, for sensing the food. Well, some people don't like silverfish because uh, they consider them to be household pests. Um, and they spray everything with poison because they want to kill them off. Well, actually, silverfish, they're not bad, really. Uh, what they do is, is they actually eat uh, also fungi. So if you have somewhere, some kind of a mold growing in your, in, your, in your room somewhere because there's too much moisture, the silverfish will actually, yeah, eat this stuff. So actually, they're kind of beneficial. Yeah, here now you can see much better the two maxillary palpi. You can also see that one of the antenna is a little bit shorter. It's probably broken off. But the maxillary palpi, they um, also do not have any claws and uh, they are so long in a silverfish uh, that uh, yeah, I confuse them uh, with legs. But sometimes in nature things are not always as they might appear. I was actually already hoping that I made a big important discovery. The first insect with eight legs, of course that's highly unlikely. And here you can now see the maxillary palpi much better again. And also the long antennae. Yeah, silverfish, they look kind of cute under the microscope. I can highly recommend them. 
yeah, here again. Um, and I try to now push it a little bit and look how quickly it runs away. Yeah, I was not able to see the number of legs uh, when it was running. Well, today I consider myself quite lucky. Look, um, I found another silverfish. Yeah, here it is. I put a cup over the silverfish here and here you can see it running. And here now I put it into another cup and the white powdery stuff that you see, that is starch. I tried to feed it a little bit. Um, here it's trying to run out of the class. Not very successful in doing that. The walls are simply too smooth. But now you can see it much better here. The silverfish uh, is a little bit larger, I think, than the other one. Um, and the two antenna you can see, they also are here quite complete, so this one is not injured. But no, no chance uh, crawling out here. Look at the long, uh, yeah, look at the long extensions um, on the tail. These are called uh, the two extensions left and right. These are called Cers. I have a problem pronouncing it. Cerkai? Cerkai. C E R C I. Um, and uh, they uh, also uh, act as sense organs um, and in some insects, maybe not so much in silverfish, but in some insects, they can actually even act uh, as a weapon. But here it's trying to crawl out again. The long extensions on the tail here, very typical for silverfish. Maybe also the starchy uh, material, the starch uh, maybe also makes the side of the glass a little bit slippery. Yeah, here we see the two cerci, 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 cerci. Ah, I don't know. Here you see it much better. Here, an eye. Wow, that's nice. Here, that's one of the compound eyes of the insect, of the silverfish. Yeah, I think uh, they are very interesting and very cute animals and worth putting under the microscope. So folks, that's uh, it again. I uh, wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. And uh, yeah, stereo microscopes. Uh, I really recommend them as well. They have the advantage that you can observe your environment in a very simple and uncomplicated way without any, any complicated specimen preparation. Happy microbe hunting. See you around next time. Bye-bye.